Familial dysbeta lipoproteinemia, also known as type 3 hyperlipoproteinemia, is caused by a deficiency in apolipoprotein E. This causes an inability to clear chylomicron remnants and IDL, which manifests clinically with premature atherosclerosis, palmar crease xanthomas, and other findings. In this video, I'll show you my visual mnemonic for familial dysbeta lipoproteinemia, so you'll be ready for test day. For this image, we turn to the set of this year's presidential debate. The word debate should help anchor you to dysbeta lipoproteinemia. Get it? A debate for dysbeta lipoproteinemia? It's the dysbeta lipoproteinemia debate. And fitting with the times, our debate's moderator is asking the question, does industry contribute to environmental pollution? Our first contender is aggressively arguing against the idea. In stark contrast, the other contender is passionately arguing for increasing governmental regulation. First, take a look at the image on the projector screen. It looks like one of the candidates is showing some images from a recent oil spill in Southeast Asia. Take it from a veteran debater. Showing evidence is a great technique to persuade the audience. Anyway, it turns out that the oil spill in question was caused by a pipeline malfunction. See where the pipe broke? The inside of that oil pipe is completely clogged up. Speaking of clogged pipes, familial dysbeta lipoproteinemia is characterized by premature atherosclerosis. Because of atherosclerosis, arteries get clogged up by fatty plaques, right? Kind of like our pipe here. Patients with familial dysbeta lipoproteinemia have accelerated atherosclerosis and classically present with vascular disease at a young age. This is high yield. So be on the lookout for dysbeta lipoproteinemia whenever you see a heart attack in a younger patient. Next, take a look at the big tree trunk that's fallen on the ground behind the pipe. Watch the full version of this video at pixarize.com. There, you'll find a ton of other great content you won't find anywhere else.